Hello, um, I've had a lot of requests for tabs for this song, but I generally don't tab things out. Uh, I tend to work them out and then do the video and then move on. Um, so I figured I'd just do a quick tutorial video on how to do the four main parts of this song. So here we go. <laughs> Okay, so this is the verse part, um, which is essentially the same thing four times, but with three different chords. So your first chord is, uh, I'm going to use fret numbers and strings, because uh, I figure most people will understand that better than if I go through the actual notes. So let's go fifth fret on your fourth string, turn that into a power chord by adding the seventh fret on your next string, and then little finger goes on eighth fret on your second string. And that's your first chord. <laughs> And then your two notes after that are 12 and 10 on your top string. And then your twiddly bit is on your third string, on your G. And we go 11, 9, 7, open. And then we add two notes on the end of that. We do second fret, third string, and third fret, second string like a D chord. Uh, now I tend to pick this. Uh, Will Swan is very much a tapper, so I think he plays it uh, tapped, but it's the same notes essentially, so we have. And then he'd probably play that one there, or 12th fret there. So. Or. So that's your first chord in your first twiddly riff. Um, and then it just kind of repeats, but with a different chord at the start. So we have a D major bar chord, uh, which would be on the fifth fret on your A string. And the rest is the same. And then your next one is a C chord. So we drop that down to the third fret. And then finally we do the C again. Only this time, the fast bit, we double up, so we go. Uh, and there we go. That's your verse. Okay, then we move on to the chorus. There are three chords in the chorus. It's essentially a C major, an E minor, and a D major. Um, but Swanee being Swanee, he likes to play with hand positions for them, different inversions. So your first chord... Uh, it looks and sounds like he plays a C up here. So we go 8th fret, bottom string. And we do the major 3rd, we do the 7th fret on your 5th string. Then your little finger comes up and does the octave, which will be 10th fret on your 4th string. And then we'd skip a string, and then get your 3rd finger on your 8th fret on your 2nd string. So that's your first C chord. Uh, and just strum. And then we go to an E minor. Then we go to a D major. And then back to that C. Put them together. And that's your chorus. After that, we've got your little break, uh, which is just tremolo picking, alternate picking in 16th notes on two notes. So we go fifth fret, fourth string. And then seventh fret, fifth string. And that's your break. And then from then we just repeat verse, chorus, break, Again, so then we come to the last part of the song, uh, which is just two chords. We have a G major played with a C shape. So we start with little finger on your 10th fret, and then we go nine, seven, eight, seven. So do a little bar just there. Uh, and then strum. And then we move to your E minor, which we've done previously. <laughs> Two times, and then finish on that G. Uh, 
and then we'll let that fade out and do the dance. <laughs> 